Hey everyone, so today I got like an hour or so that I could dedicate to pretty much moving this whole project along. So today I'm pretty much going to evaluate what I need to carry over from the old motor and put onto the new motor. And then, uh, yeah, clean up the block and make sure everything looks pretty much clean and tidy or whatever before I go ahead and put it back on the new engine. So one thing I realized is that I have to go ahead and switch my harness from so pretty much I gotta use my old harness on a new engine. One of the prime examples is this plug right here. It's uh, green here and I looked at the wires and they're all different. And this is on the, on the old harness. It's purple-ish. And different wiring um, colors. And yeah, it's a whole lot more stuff. Like even this thing right here, I don't even know what it does. It's like a whole bunch of fuses is inside of it. And over here, that's nowhere here. The only fuse we have is just this one. And I have that one here too. Oh, and I got another fuse over here. So I got fuse, fuse, fuses. And over here, we only have one fuse. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So the only thing I'm really taking off this motor is just the alternator, since that's like brand new and I would take the high pressure fuel pump, but this one seems to be looking pretty, like it was changed already. So might as well have like a spare one sitting, just in case. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the RB turbos. I don't think I wanna roll with stock turbos for now, so at least have some kind of power on there. So uh, down pipes, that's a given right there. And then switch over to inlet pipe ins. And my water pump and thermostat is also going over there since that's the reason why I got the other block because it needed a water pump and thermostat. And mines are fairly new too. So I'm pretty much going to go ahead and take the belt off right now. So I'm going to go over here by the tensioner and I'm going to use a, what is this? 3 8 Yeah, a 3 8 And stick it on like so. this in and then go ahead and use one of these right here stick it over like that and then it's turned that way and then take the belts off so i'm gonna use the e10 socket and go ahead and take off these uh one two three four five six six bolts and taking careful care of noting where this white bolt is right here so Wherever this spot right here, this hole, I'm gonna have to make sure it's in the same spot as in when I bring it over here. So ironically, they're like, yeah, right in the same spot. So this one is also marked too. So this one would have to go over to here. This will be over here on a new engine, this white mark, or yeah, wherever this is turned. It looks right, so yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the same way. Go ahead and start taking off the compressor. So I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter to take this bracket off. This off and um, then I'm gonna use a hex bolt to take this off the compressor, and then use that 13 again and take these brackets off so I can get this out, unplug it, label it, and bring it over there. So working in the night right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, start to take the compressor off now. So you just gotta use a 13 and take this bolt off, this bolt off, and this bolt, and what else? Yeah, that's it. That's these bolts right here. One, two, and three bolts holding it onto the compressor. And then this, what was this, uh, six bit right here for this hole to take the compressor off. Not the compressor, but the clamp piece or whatever for the holes. So I already unhooked it from the harness and labeled it. So we'll stick it that off to the side. Okay, so use the 13 and took these out right here. So they're loose. And mark these off right here. Um, unscrew the positive connector and also unplug the disc connector for the alternator also. So label it, push it out the way. And now when I take these off, I'm gonna just push this out that way and it comes right out. So I got the AC compressor on and the alternator and I routed the belt. This is on also 
So, yeah. So everything's pretty much on on this side right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take these, this power steering line off. Because on this motor, it didn't have the power steering cooler part like right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take this one line off and then put it over there. So we'll let the only part I gotta take off is this thing over here. I hate these clamps. I'm just gonna get a flathead and take it off. And then I think I have Here we go. Harbor Freight Special hose clamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those, one of these hose clamps and put it on there. So that way I don't gotta deal with that later on. And I really hate those clamps because once you take them off one time, you can't really use, use them again and you're paying to come off. Got the trans cooler transferred over. The only thing is I gotta go ahead and get another hose clamp because the smallest one I have is too big. So yeah. Tomorrow when I go on my parts run, I'm gonna go ahead and get me one that's a little bit smaller. And yeah, I think tomorrow most likely. Oh yeah, I went ahead and put the I just loosely fit it up so on uh, the mount just so I don't lose any of the screws. So the other screw for this is on the car. So yeah, I just pretty much want to get everything back where it's supposed to be, so I don't want to lose anything. So I just went ahead and just put that there. And the only thing I have left right now to do is uh, take the wiring harness off, but I think I'm going to take it off this first and then I'll go ahead and just do it piece by piece. Like take this off and put it back in, like put it back in place so that I know exactly where it came in. So the second I pull it out, put the other corresponding piece back in. So that way everything is put back where it's supposed to be. So all I have left is just the wiring and then pulling the turbos and swapping everything over and then mating the transmission to the new engine. So other than that, it should be, should be up and ready to put the engine in by, I think I said my deadline was like Wednesday, I wanted to have it done. So by Wednesday, I should be having at least have the motor, putting it back inside the car, I hope. <laughs> so. Uh, this is it for today. So like, comment, uh, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next video.